Thinking about leaving your soul sucking nine to five job, one of the biggest struggles I see people, especially as women, face is the idea of having that safety nest, that enticing perks and benefits, and listening to that head trash of what will people think if I leave. I totally get it and I've been where you are. That's why I created a free guide to help you if you're thinking about putting in that notice. It's called Unlocking Your Exit Plan. Discover five things you need to do before leaving your nine to five. This guide is filled with worksheets and steps so you will have handholding along the way you can download your copy in the link in the show notes and again it's totally free now back to today's episode hey there let's face it today's internet world is so saturated and everyone is fighting for that number one spot to be visible it is no longer about running ads and having thousands of people on your email list it is about building relationships and networking with others to grow your business and become visible Hi, my name is Candice. I'm a podcast launch strategist and I help service-based business owners develop and deliver their message to the world by using platforms like podcasting and bringing valuable content to those who need to hear what they have to say. Welcome to the Hello C.S. Dorsey podcast. Welcome back to another episode of the Hello C.S. Dorsey podcast. I am coming to you uh, via my phone because <laughs> this podcast is actually going to be a really quick one. So I just want to check in to ask you this one question. What's the plan? What is the plan for 2021? And I thought about this myself as well. And I was thinking, wow, what am I going to do this year? And I said, well, what if this year is the same as last year, 2020? And I said, well, I can always plan as if things is going to be the same way, like 2020. So I began to think, okay, well, what was 2020 like? Well, everyone had to do shelter in place. Everybody had to do a lot of things remote. Everybody had to essentially... Uh, go virtual so I said okay well then let's plan like it's that all over again so I am planning to do everything virtual like I usually do but really a lot of networking um, try to get into a lot of networking summits and do masterminds as well try to get into those and just connect with other entrepreneurs that's in the online space or just recently got into the online space and um, kind of, you know, new at this in a sense. So it says, okay, so my networking, since I can't go outside, is actually going to be virtual, which that's pretty much the best thing to do. Because you can actually meet more people online than you would, let's say, at a virtual conference, uh, not a virtual conference, at a regular conference when there's people. Because how often, how many people can you say that you actually met face-to-face versus virtual? In my case, since I have my podcast, I've had 70, am I on my 80th episode? I've had about, let's say 79. Let's just give myself some grace. So I've had 79 episodes. Out of those 79 episodes, I do believe I did about maybe six to seven solo casts. So you subtract the six episodes I've already did that was solo. Majority of my episodes have guests. So could you imagine like... I've had like a roughly about 70, maybe let's, let's say 68, <laughs> roughly. I've had about 68 people on my podcast and I don't think I would be able to, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think I'll be able to meet 60 people at a conference. I probably will get to know maybe five or six but 60 people no I don't think I could ever meet 60 people 
all at once at a conference where there's other people, where you actually meet people face to face. I mean, unless you're a super extrovert, um, I've seen some out there, but um, I'm in between introvert and extrovert. So I will communicate and mingle with when I'm comfortable doing so, if the space is a comfortable atmosphere. If it's a tight atmosphere, like it's stuffy, I, I'm i going 100% introvert. I will not communicate. So that's me. I'm a little weird. Yes. Okay. So let's move right along. So when you are doing your plan for 2021, definitely do doable plans to where as though it's bite size. So just like really little mini goals to essentially get you to that big goal. Um, What I mean by that is make the plan measurable. So we talk about, people talk about SMART goals all the time. Let's just get real, be realistic with your goals. Um, Don't make outlandish goals that you don't see yourself actually doing or you feel like it may take a lot out of you to actually do and I'm not saying don't make those goals that's going to push you a little further or get you outside your comfort zone definitely do goals that's going to get you outside your comfort zone but I wouldn't say make a big huge goal that's going to put you in a bind or a strain revenue goals revenue goals are okay I have my own mini revenue goal that I will love, that I would like to hit, I would like to see happen, but am I breaking my neck to make it? No, I think it's really important to have something that you really want to strive for, Um, but um, don't break your neck to make it happen. If it don't happen, it's okay. If you get halfway there, then that's fine. Okay, so plan for next year to do it again so you can get closer and closer to that goal that you have set for yourself. And just give yourself some grace. It's okay to say, I would like to do X, Y, Z. And if you don't hit X, Y, Z, just say to yourself, okay, it's okay. We'll do it next time. That's it. Give yourself some grace. Also, you want to make sure that you put self-care in your goals. So make sure you're doing something for you, something personal, something like, I don't know, take a day to read a book, go and drive up and down the coast. I know it's COVID and it's like, oh, we really can't do much because I know here in California, a lot of things are shut down, but go online. Check to see if your favorite restaurant is doing deliveries or check to see if your favorite restaurant is doing takeout. Order that takeout, go get it and enjoy it. Eat it at home. I know last year for my birthday, we always planned this big, long week extravaganza birthday type thing. And we couldn't do it last year. So what we did instead was my mom had a lot of uh, Cheesecake Factory gift cards that she accumulated from her from her boss because her boss knew that she loved the Cheesecake Factory. So we actually saved up all of those Cheesecake Factory gift cards and we essentially bought dinner. We probably went crazy. Um I think we spent like roughly like $122 worth of Cheesecake Factory food. And we got it. We got like birthday cake cheesecake celebration cheesecake from cheesecake factory was so good but um we did that for my birthday and I was like oh my gosh mom this food tastes better as if he was going to the restaurant versus takeout the takeout food was so delicious and we ate half of it and then we had leftovers for like the whole weekend that's how much food they gave us it was so good so do those things treat yourself to your favorite restaurant if they do takeout order it and just have a blast watch Netflix I won't say watch Netflix for days and days and days that's not productive but give yourself at least a day to just unwind and check out that's my 
that's my thing. I love watching Netflix and if I can find a good show and I'm feeling like really overwhelmed, I will binge watch that show just so I can kind of like check out and not think about business, not think about work, my nine to five, none of that. I just kind of want to immerse myself in that show. Um, I used to do that a lot with reading. Oh my goodness, I miss it so much. I really do. But find your love and it's okay to check out and just immerse yourself in that to kind of recoup, rejuvenate, um, and just kind of get your mind together. Okay, so let's recap. What is your plan for 2021? Plan many bite-sized goals. If you're going to make a revenue goal, it's okay. If you don't make it, save it and do it again the next time. Or say within six months time, I want to make this amount. If you don't make it, plan for the next six months to hit it. But be okay with not hitting your target or not hitting your goals because at least you're working towards it. Okay. Um, and make sure you're taking care of yourself because that is a very important. So I really hope you like this episode. I know it's kind of short, but, um, I definitely want to just jump in here and, um, say, what's your plan? And I hope that you are making your plan. So really smart. Take care. Hey, did you like this episode? Don't forget to subscribe and share. And also drop me a line or two. I will love to hear your feedback in the review. Thank you.